I jumped the gun away too early last episode. Most of you guys probably didn't even watch the outro, so you're probably thinking, <laughs> what an idiot. The demon lord's not a spider. Yeah, I get it. The demon lord's not a spider. All I saw was our cape with six like dangly legs. And that's like, spider, spider. No, it wasn't a spider. There's some um, introduction with the demon lord, which is pretty cool, right? So now we get to actually figure out who the main boss is. Seems like a lolly. I don't know. The chest was kind of flat. Everyone was saying, saying, you know, wood, wood, wood. We didn't get to see her face yet, but... I don't know. She might be kind of hype. It was cool that she was able to kind of proxy intimidate the spider that was attacking Julius Nisama. We got to see the hero Julius finally as well, right? Because obviously the demon lord is saying, you're getting cocky, spider. The, the hero is mine. How does the demon lord do that? Who knows? She's a demon lord. On the human side, Hugo is getting more and more upset. He better be. Bro fucking sucks. But dude has become antagonized, rightfully so, to the point that I feel like he might just ally with the demons. I'm not really sure where we're going with that plot line. And Kumo, sorry, Spider, Wakaba. She just keeps evolving. And the skills that she gets makes me worried. Because they're like really, really like worrisome. Like, did we get like some title called like Harbinger of Doom or some shit? I don't know. Let's begin today's reaction though. Ruler Perseverance. Again, heresy nullification. I think we learned that the heresy was basically extra information that she gets, right? Like being like too much like... Sensory stuff. Hold up. So we got defense and resistance are increased. Unlocks the evil eye class of skills. Evil eye. This is different from foresight, right? This is totally different from foresight, right? Additional proficiency gain for resistance related skills. So I'm, I'm assuming we're just going to become like whatever attacks we get, we're just way more resistance to it, right? Obtain access to ruling class privileges. What the fuck is a ruling class, right? I just keep thinking from the perspective of this title, it's like, so what? I'm a spider. So I'm a spider, so what? Obviously, people are going to look down on spiders because we're like a tiny creature, but it's like, maybe it's like Spider Master Race? I don't know. Explanation. The title bestowed upon one who has conquered perseverance. I'm, drip I'm sipping some tea too, man. Who knows? I don't know. Evil Eye. What is she gonna get? Like the fucking manga Q Sharon gun? <laughs> the Chuni eye. <laughs> so Chuni. Edge Lord. I don't know. I hope. Okay, so she does have an inner Edge Lord side. I don't know when we're gonna meet the humans or ever, but like, I hope she pulls something like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cursed evil eye there. Applies cursed damage to target and field of vision. I don't know what cursed damage is, but okay. If we just have field of vision, we see something, they get cursed damage? Sounds kind of fucking OP. Whoa, 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 whoa. Annihilating evil eye. Applies rot damage to target and field of vision. So evil eye series. Many different types of damage as long as it's in field of vision. Okay, okay, okay. Paralyzing evil eye. Just paralyzing. Petrifying. Just petrifies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, it's just so, it's just, there's so many fucking skills. There's, I can't read all this shit, dude. It's, it's too insane. Basically, all these different, you know, debuffs can be inflicted on them. Right, because we have two separate bodies, right? Because we have, like, the physical mind and we have the... Sorry, we have the brain that controls the physical side and then the brain that controls, like, the mental part, right? Parallel processing. There's so many skills. True? Eight evil eyes at once. Eight. I mean, we do have eight eyes. Nani? <laughs> I'm you. <laughs> Activating eightfold evil eye. <laughs> All right. I take like a uh, curse damage or rock damage. Curse sounds really cool. She's actually gone fucking insane, and she's just talking to herself now. She's literally just talking to her exactly. <laughs> she's got a new friend. It's herself. All right, evil eye. Cursed evil eye. Let's see it. All right, sea frog. What is curse damage? She's having way too much fun with this. Oh, oh? wait. That shit was like a fucking projectile attack. Huh. The stamina, MP, and HP all decrease. Wait, everything is decreasing, actually. That's kind of fucking insane. All the stats just went down. 
Like the stamina went down first, so he couldn't even do anything beyond that, even though he had HP. Yeah, it died! That was the easiest, that's like the most skill. Like, I think this is the most strongest skill that we have so far. Then again, we haven't used Manifest Hades. What the fuck does Manifest Hades mean, man? When it actually summon the Underlord God? A human side. Other reincarnations outside our class? Elf village. So there's 15 missing. Eleven of them requested I take them into the custody at the elf village. Eleven is part of our class. Okay. There's 26 total? Or 26 here. So we're technically missing nine people. Gotcha. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 17 found, nine missing makes 26. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Of the nine missing, two are known, so there's seven technically Jesus fucking Christ. The math is working, the math is working. Just focus, focus. Seven missing, two are known, but nine overall missing. Four of them dead, though. Four of them actually dead. Confirmed? And Wakaba is of the three here. Wakaba is of the three. Wait, what did she say? What did she say? Okay. Out of reach? Sure. What does that mean? Yeah, exactly. What does that mean, out of reach, huh? No, it's not a secret. It actually is a secret, actually. What the fuck do you mean? This sensei is sussy to me. Very sus. Something about her gives me weird vibes. Yeah, tell me the secret! <laughs> it's a secret, secret. Everybody's looking at us. Most of them are human territory. She's capping. She capping. Faye, you're so special. Monster territory. Alright. She's hiding a lot of shit from us, man. What? Why? <laughs> oh, by the way, another thing after all this secret shit I'm not even telling you. Don't level up your skills. Stay weak. Now, this could make sense if for some reason leveling up our skill causes us to become tied more to some evil thing that actually at the end of the day is bad for us. I don't know. Maybe... This is a cursed magic and we're- I, I don't know! I'm just trying to think like why she would even say that unless she wants us to be fucking fodder. That's insane! Why would you say that? Oh? Skill up! Skill up! Maybe Sensei's not being sus here. Cause the church, you know? That girl. That girl is fucking insane and she's obsessed with skilling up. Maybe that kind of ties in with the way that people receive skills and stuff like that. I don't know. Ah, I don't know. Uh-oh, it's Hugo. Uh-oh, it's Hugo. Okay, CGI door. Tell that to Hugo. Hello, Sue. I just realized, our dining table is elevated compared to everyone else. Why is that? Is this like a special spot? Uh, what is going on? Training? To the mountain! You know Hugo's gonna be in our team, right? Oh, lowest level. Now nah, fuck him. Send him to the Elro Labyrinth, dude. Bottom straight him. Fuck him. Put him back in the labyrinth. Also, remember the last teacher? He just died, right? Is Hugo gonna be in our team or no? Uh oh, separate teams. Oh god. Church girl. Oh god. Church girl's in our team. <laughs> <laughs> well, not our team, but, you know, the other girl's team. Uh-oh. She was not happy with that. Dude, Hugo looks so mad. Bro, just talk. Yeah? 
That ain't the only thing keeping you up at night, sis. I love the church goal before, but now that she said a bunch of shit about the church shit and about how, like, Taboo needs to die, she scares me. Something about her eyes are scary. Look at her. Look at her. Her eyes actually terrify me. Make sure you know who has Taboo. Come on. You gotta tell me who has Taboo so we can kill them, Shun. <laughs> <laughs> this is <bit's> crazy! <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think there's patching with Hugo, man. Sorry, I missed that. Oh, yeah. Well, I feel like it's inevitable. Like, Hugo just won't even take an apology. Not that we have to apologize. Wait, Faye's not allowed? Faye's not allowed to come? I wonder what that means. Maybe she'll join us later and save us out of nowhere? Hmm? Yeah, Sensei, you never participate. Yeah, you're like Koenji. You never participate in anything. Secret! This sussy Sensei, man. What the fuck is up with her? Oka-chan, what are your stats? You're probably super OP, Oka-chan. And then Hugo says, I'm not trying to be the kind of guy who's always worried about how he looks to chicks. He's right. He's always worried about how he looks to other dudes. Because Shun is popping off and everyone's worshipping him. So he's more <laughs> worried about how other guys think about him. <laughs> Alright. Chance pitching? Alright. Tense. Here we go. Man, they just keep him calling him Shurensama, huh? Yeah, be a little more casual. Why? Bro, stop it. Uh oh. I feel like this new character that's simping over Shirin sama might die soon. Alright. Uh oh, Hugo. Friendly fire? Hugo? I hear sword. I hear sword. The fuck? Hugo and? Oh, it's just that? Okay, I thought he was attacking someone already. Sorry, never mind. Parton's dead? Sorry, I didn't even know that was his name. That was the NPC, right? That was simping over Shane Sama right there, right? Where's Parton? Show, show me his face. Come on, is he burnt up? Is he dead? Like, 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 like this, this is him? Did, he, he, he's ashes right now? Mr. Park. <laughs> so he glazed Shun up in front of Hugo, saying, Oh my god, you killed a dragon, you're so cool. <laughs> and I was like, This dude gonna die. <laughs> he died like 30 seconds later. He just fired. Jesus Christ. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you guys are fucking ruthless. Pardon has departed from life. Yes, he has. They wouldn't even show us his corpse. He's literally campfire. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Talking so big, but you're so weak. He's saying it is not enough that I succeed. Others must fail. Alright. You couldn't kill the earth dragon though. One on one. Yeah? You can actually try to kill him? Bro, what is he gonna say? How, like, w w like, if we come back to the camp, the teacher just said, oh, I, like, uh, all right, go do your thing for an hour and come back. Hey, where did Parton go? I don't know. He's dead, I guess. That's it? Did he even think about it? Like, if he kills Shun here, and then what? Like, what are you gonna do? Like, the teachers aren't gonna say shit? <laughs> you got a lot of stats, bro. You got a lot of skills. He hasn't used his skills? He's stacking skill points? Who declared you king? My goons? 
the other students? He's planning on killing every other student? Okay, so Hugo is actually thinking. So I was I was asking, like, what are you gonna actually fucking do, dude? Like, what's your excuse? So they're gonna have monsters on them and blame it on them. Gotcha. You know what'd be fun? If the monsters they set loose ends up killing these idiots, that would be great. In his face, it does look pretty menacing. Okay. I hope the monsters killed everyone else, dude. Ah, to make him look to the hero after that. Not if he kills everyone else, though. That won't believe it. No shit, it's not Japan. You better not think that crimes come to the light of day as often as they did back home. It's so funny, because like right now we watched Classroom of the Elite last week, right? The most criminal thing each knows they ever did was shoplifting, and bro Hugo is, Hugo is literally just talking about fuck <laughs> shoplifting? Nah. I'm gonna fucking kill you, motherfuckers! Yeah, he is insane. But I don't think Shun's gonna die here, he's too important. Plus, he hasn't used his skill ups, right? His skill up points. Well, no shit, he hasn't used his skill points! This fucking idiot. Maybe Sensei. Sensei? Fei, Sensei? Sue? Ooh, sensei! Effortlessly just blows him away with wind magic. How strong is she? Because she's hiding a lot of shit too, right? Oka-chan? She knew all about it. What the fuck? Sensei's coming in so clutch right now, but at the same time, I still feel like she's super sus. How would she even know about that from the beginning? Maybe the person that we should be scared about is not Hugo or the church girl, but Sensei. Yeah, she is strong. Like, the fact that Hugo is literally out of breath, he's like, Oh my god, Sensei! After that one attack? How? What is this? Just wind? Absolute wind magic? Ruler privileges! What does that mean? What does that mean? Because Wakaba! Ruler privilege! I have ruler privilege? What is this? Requesting application to unique rulers. Who are we asking? The system? The fucking owner of this game? Whoa, 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 whoa. The god? <laughs> Level three. No, 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 it's Hugo. I thought, I thought this was gonna show, you know, um, uh, fucking uh, sensei for a second. Dropping! <laughs> and his skills are going away too! <laughs> She's a fucking GM! She is straight up a fucking GM! Like, what? If we consider this Isekai game, she's a fucking mod. She's an admin. You can just take away because you you're a ruler. Ruler privileges. You gotta like request for ruler privileges and then you become a ruler and you can just pretty much do anything. Suck away skills, staff points. What? what? Oh, yo, you know what we should do? It'd be hilarious if, uh, in, in, here's what I'm thinking. If Sensei it can take away skills, Sensei can give a skill and like we should just give you know hugo taboo yeah exactly you know you're thinking right you're thinking we should give a taboo <laughs> then we should say appraisal oh my god church girl this guy has taboo <laughs> he has m percent i equals w still though though what is this what is that see we again look at this thing it's the one last thing he has what is this thing? So Hugo has just become a peasant? Dude, the sensei didn't only take away the skills and the levels and shit, she took away his voice acting. Parton is dead though! What? I thought Parton. I. I thought Parton turned into a campfire! So, he got baited. He got fucking baited. What the fuck? Alright, Parton's still alive. What the fuck? I was confused. How did she know all this though? Yeah, she did. You're dangerous. Hugo is destroyed. Good. I hope you fucking die, Hugo. Uh, Wakaba. We got... 
telescopic vision, basically just better vision. So if you hit level 10 on a skill, then it can like evolve into like a better skill and then it starts off from level one again. Different name, basically prestige system, right? Basically just telescope, you know, telescope vision. Wow. The binoculars. She's got two monitors now. Two monitors set up. See? Two monitors set up. Okay, what do we got? Zoa LA. That's right. That's where you are right now. Life 10 has evolved to longevity. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, just bigger HP pool? Mm. She's going schizo again, guys. She's talking. <laughs> the cursed eye series, the evil eye series, the telescopic vision. We can snipe. We can actually just snipe now. Holy shit, if this works, we can snipe. <laughs> exactly. We got detection 10. What does it turn into? Detection doesn't go? Okay, so some skills obviously there's like a cap. There's no more like evolutions, you know, pass for the skills. So it's just maxed out. Okay. Okay. Will the appraisal level up, like, you know, Great Sage into, uh, what, what, what does Great Sage turn into? You know how the AI voice in uh, Reincarnate as a Slime, like, evolves too, right? So will our appraisal guy, yeah, Raphael or some shit, right? Yeah. Nothing appraisal? Nothing? It's the sound again. The static sound. What is that static sound? Beeping sound. Static sound. Fuck. Senior... Senior Admin D has received your request. Skill Wisdom isn't... We can request... Like an idea. Hey, what if our appraisal could level up into like the Great Sage or something? What? And this is the admin that we request for the ruler class privileges too, right? That's what Okasan did, right? With a sensei, again, I'm not asking for spoilers. I'm just cooking by myself. These are all rhetorical questions I'm asking you, but okay, there's admins. There's senior, intermediate, maybe junior admin. You can even fucking ask for, hey, what about this skill? If it could turn into that, come on, what do you think about it? Huh. It's just a, it's, it's totally just a game. Who's the admin though? The admins are basically better than the demon lord? Are they? Like, like, think about it. Like, the, 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 I feel like this is just the game and we're all just like players and like the admins and they're like basically developers. You know what I mean? Oh shit, we did it. Oh shit, we actually, that, that was a fast development. Holy shit. Usually you think it takes like a fucking, it takes like months to fucking get a ticket out and get a developer to fucking get this shit out. But that was quick. That was quick. What the fuck does height of occultism mean? Ruler of wisdom. Height of occultism. Celestial power. What the fuck is all this shit, dude? I don't know anymore, man. I've never known. Taboo is level 8 now. Uh-oh, this is a skill that we should not be leveling up. It's 8 now, guys. What happens when Taboo hits 10? What does it evolve to? Blasphemy? She's panicking. No shit, you're reincarnated as a spider. Why do you expect this to be normal? <laughs> yeah. But this time you requested it. It's a video game, yes. Senior Admin D again. Someone is watching us. We're playing a game and there's developers outside, like gods. Oh, she's sweating, man. Yes. You're a character. She's asking. She's going through an existential crisis now, man. Yo! Yo! That's a monitor! 
senior? Admin D? Who are you? And the person smiling there. What? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hugo, Hugo, Hugo. No ending. The credits are rolling, though. Maybe a developer or an admin will take interest in Hugo, too. Who? Completely new character. I've never seen her before. Both reincarnations. We don't know, right? But I guess she's part of the 27. Classmate? Or just a different reincarnation? Classmate or different reincarnation? I don't know, man. What the fuck? She part of the demon side? She might be a demon, exactly. Is that demon side? And like, clearly, this isn't gonna be so simple. Like, Hugo just getting a power out of nowhere and getting saved. Clearly, this girl is using Hugo too. So Hugo, even though he might make a little of a comeback, at the end of the day, bro is just a fucking tool. And that's the episode. What a very interesting episode. I think Sensei definitely took the spotlight in this episode, right? Because so far... Sensei has been kind of played off as like a elf lolly. It's like, ha ha ha, whatever. But it's like, she's always away. And she's the only one keeping track of different students. How? Nobody really asks. Because every time we ask, she's always like, hee hee, just a secret. Tee hee. It's like, shut the fuck up. You know everything that we don't. Well, how do you have this information? She's able to fucking get the ruler class privilege. I don't know how she did it. But she has the ruler class privilege, just like how we have. Is that based on pride? Did pride give us the ruler class privilege? Somehow, I don't know. Maybe Sensei has taboo too? I'm not really sure. With requesting ruler class privilege, you're able to take away the stats and the skills. That's fucking insane. But at the end of the day, N% percent I equals W still stayed around. This is some kind of formula, some kind of progression. I don't know, man. But this, they're really making us you know, be pay focus on like, yup, this, this thing, this equation, focus. What the fuck do I know about him, man? Now, Hugo may be done for now, but he did get approached by a demon. And no doubt that he's going to come back shittier than before, but hopefully he gets taken out quick and fast because this guy's a piece of shit. Wakaba, on the other hand, she just keeps evolving, keeps getting stronger, getting so many cool skills. The cursed, sorry, evil eye series is pretty cool. And now with telescopic vision, potentially we can just like use all these broken skills from like a distance. We're like sniping them, right? fucking insane and she's starting to realize that huh i just asked if my appraisal stat appraisal thing can become like a, a wisdom right something different like can it evolve or not we're just talking to ourselves and then senior admin d was like all right bet good idea i'll, I'll make that into the game right now and it's like what so this is a game and we are characters and here's the thing that i really thought about in solo leveling recently as well, and I'll talk about that during the solo leveling episode, but if we are a character and we are a player of this game, you know in games, there is a person outside, someone physically playing a character within the game, right? So Wakaba is a character, but who is actually outside playing her, you know what I mean? And beyond the player and the character, there's also like some kind of god, the developers, the admins going on, right? So it's like, shit. This, this, this anime keeps getting more and more interesting. And I'm so amazed that you guys keep saying that people hate the human scenes. Anytime there's like a human scene focus, apparently people just straight up skip it. Now, we are only on episode 7. And maybe in the future episodes, the human side really sucks. But so far, it's been incredibly compelling. Every time we go to the human side, I'm actually excited. Because we get to know so much more about this game. Now, I'm not saying that Wakaba parts are bad. It's just that Wakaba parts are usually just fighting random CGI monsters and leveling up. That itself is kind of interesting when she does level up, get new skills and, you know, new regions. But the human side is way more interesting to me so far up to episode 7. But that could change in the future. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.